All right, before the video starts with the prediction, I might say 31. Um, you might hear some vo some bird noises in the background. You're thinking that it's my house. No, it's the super birds from from the outside. They're acting annoying. I don't know why. I think they're trying to have intersexual interaction, I guess. But just ignore the b bird noises. Um, if... You don't want to have that lot. That I get that, but yeah, I'm sorry about the burn noises. Uh, I'm probably gonna go keep go tell them to go away. But yeah, enjoy the video, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to another prediction video. I hope this is um so. Bad, kind of a good prediction, kind of not. Last time, um, as it's recording, I'm doing the record before the Man City game in Burnley, um, which is early morning for me, but I don't know about European time and all that. But, um, yeah, City still don't win this, so, uh, I rewatched my prediction video, um, I predicted Chief United winning against Newcastle, my god. What a horrible prediction, but I'm about to move on. Um, right, as of right now, I'm five and six. Man, you immense because I did pretty immensely will win against Burnley. So, if it's five and six, I think it goes, I can either go six and six or six and or five and seven. So, yeah, but they're gonna today we're gonna do predictions for match day 31, which is tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, match day 31, which is, uh, will be a watch line since it's a Tottenham game. So, yeah, uh, let's continue our first game, though. It is Leicester City for the Brighton. Tough game to call that there because both Leicester City tied that game. Leicester City tied that game, and Brighton coming off a win against Arsenal. But I hope Brandon Rogers had to perform team does perform better. That's just a big ways to to tie away Leicester to to Watford. But I do say Leicester will get the win here tomorrow at twelve PM Central Time. Uh I don't know what time in European. I think you guys should know that day. Then two hours later will be Tottenham against West Ham. Um Tottenham easy um win there because you can't just have West West Ham was horrible. They're looking good until they just went horrible against uh Wolves like literally bad like bad and they face they're horrible dog shit sorry about that but yeah but Tottenham will get the victory here um hopefully it will be better they're not against United but. The next games we have Wednesday is, which will be three games on the same, well, actually four games on the same time. And the first game will be North City versus Everton. Um, easy win here for Everton. Um, Everton coming back, coming from a tie against Liverpool just yesterday. Um, I think Everton should be back on form. And we'll win here against North City. We'll Help them on the table, but not much for European. And then next match we have next match in the same time will be Wolves against Bournemouth. Um, Wolves will get this win here against Bournemouth because off a win from West Ham, and with a Dominator or just changing the game entirely. And when while he managed still scoring goals, so I would say well, here Wolves will win the game. Uh, I. Will, I don't see Borman too much. They did lose against Crystal Palace, sadly. But hope I don't see much of a fight here. And then we got Newcastle against Arston Villa. Newcastle, that we didn't thought will actually play good. So far, Joe Linton scored, which is a big problem. But Aston Villa, leaky defense just came back to haunt them again, again on Saturday. Um, no, yesterday. Not Saturday. Whoops, <laughs> I forget the games. But that yesterday, the Aston Villa defense was leaking. 
just Christian Pulisic just came on and just scored, just assisted and scored goals. And that's and that's a big problem that they're gonna face again. And he, and since Newcastle, could be a neutral is gonna score again. So, but I do feel Newcastle will actually play well here, which is the first time I ever said that Newcastle will play well. So, I will get the win here to Newcastle. And next match we will go is next match. United versus Sheffield United. Well, this is a tough game to call because Sheffield United play horrible, but of course they have one man, one man down. But Man United kind of did play well against Tottenham, but mistakes there. But I really don't want to say United win this, but Sheffield United would play kind of bad. Like, Saturday, so I might have to get the win here to Man United here. But it will be close, but I do give the win here to Man United. And then we go, the last game, two hours later, will be Liverpool against Crystal Palace and Watch Hudson trying to push for that European spot. The Europa League, which the closest they're going to get. Because Arsenal looks horrible, but... Um, we'll... The well, Jerry Club actually have a team scoring because Salah did not come on on the Merseyside Derby. Did not came on. That's a big problem for Jurgen. That I feel like he should play Salah at least a few minutes. But I will give here the win to Liverpool. Um, Crystal Palace will put a great fight, but I feel like Liverpool Salah probably gonna start and it's gonna score a goal. So yeah. Pretty much, I would get the win here to. to the three games to would be on Thursday. That's the final day, the final day for match day thirty one. With the three games left on a Thursday, or two games at the same time, but, and then wait the main event being two hours late. But we start with one is Southampton versus Arsenal, and Arsenal that look good. I think when Leno got injured, I. They score a goal, but Mpai, Andrew Leno, and Arsenal play with Mane. That um, Arsenal, Mpai said that Arsenal player was talking smack about them being lead up. So I think this probably going to be like the call up for Arsenal to like get together because they're facing Southampton. Southampton play really good against. Um, North City really well and I do believe that Southampton I might give a win here to Southampton here I think Danny Ings score a goal I think he's going to continue his half form still to gain the Ings in squad for next year's Euros so I will get here to Southampton not Arsenal so I think it makes some Arsenal fans piss but okay but then we got Burnley against Watford tough game there tough game this is going to be the first time ever I'm going to say this, but it's going to be a draw here. It's going to be a draw. I feel like Burnley and Watford are kind of tight, but I feel like it's going to be a huge draw. And yeah, it'll be a major draw. And especially for Watford, they need to like win. I think one more win to get them close to far away from, from relegation. But yeah, we'll see that. Then the final match day game. On oh, match day 31 will be Chelsea for Man City. The big main event, Chelsea needs to win. If they don't win, then Arsenal, the Wolves, and United Wolves win. Chelsea lose. There will be a three point difference. And City just have to fight for the second place. But City did look amazing. Chelsea did not have anything to run until policy came on. Which is a big, big problem. So I will say I have to get the win here. See, the problem is that Ed Ederson looked amazing, but that was against Arsenal. And we don't know how he's going to act against Burnley, to be fair. But I think Laporte's back on, so hopefully they will perform better. I might have to get a win here to City, not Chelsea. To City. But yeah, pretty much for Manchester 31.
31 um but thank you guys for watching um the i'm doing a watch along on tuesday and also on wednesday but back to back watch along but i well, have a bit surprise for wednesday watch along so watch out for now but tuesday will be a watch along of the premier league um starting at 11 30 a.m my time I don't know what time you guys will be, but I'm gonna schedule that soon. But but thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button, and thank you later. Peace.